My friends, what's going on guys? My name is Kai, welcome to day six in Osaka. Okay, today is going to be an amazing day. We've got a whole bunch of stuff planned. Number one, if you've seen my last videos, you will have seen that I found a giant Ferris wheel here. Uh, it's actually on top of a skyscraper. So, we are going to do that today, 100%. Um, that's the goal. I also got to go to Davenport today and pick up some uh, protective cases for my video games. And yeah, we got a lot of stuff going on. Today, I am really going to try and work on my fear of heights. So I'm hoping that Ferris wheel helps a little bit. Um, also, if I can go on that roller coaster in Davenport, I might do that. Not too sure yet. Um, last night I had an insane dream about some internet personality called Cyrax. I'll leave the picture of him here. It was a freaking awful nightmare where um, he started a cult and for some reason I was invited there and then I had to like escape the cult uh, compound. Very bizarre. I don't know why I brought that up. <laughs> Either way, right now we gotta get some food because I am hungry as hell. And there's this uh, fast food chain down here in Japan. I have no idea what it's. Oh, sorry, sorry. I look like an asshole. Um, there's a fast food chain down here, and it's very good, but I don't know what it's called. But it looks like this. It's really popular. It's all over the place. But we're gonna get a beef bowl, uh, beef with cheese, and. That's about it. I'll get back to you when I'm doing some more adventuring. All right, so got my beef bowl. Look at how much cheese is on there. Good Lord, I'm already having the worst time in the bathroom ever. This is not going to help. I don't know why I share this information with you guys. Check out the wonderful English on this. All right, my friend. So that beef bowl was really, really good. But last time I had that beef bowl, I had a panic attack later on in the day. I don't think it was from the, uh, I don't think it was from the food necessarily, but my body might have had a hard time digesting it. And then that's what caused my body to freak out. I don't know, I don't know. Panic attacks and anxiety, they can come out of absolutely nowhere for no reason whatsoever, so. I'm pretty uh, used to just dealing with it when it happens. Either way, uh, I'm close to the subway now. I'm near that really cool building. And it's hot today. It is hot today. It's like 26, 27 degrees. Um, ever since my cancer, I have a very hard time with the heat uh, and the sun. It, I don't know what cancer did to me uh, because I used to love the sun. I used to love the beach. I used to love everything like that. but. After my cancer, uh, I cannot deal with it. It makes me so sick. Um, yeah, usually in Canada, like in August, I stay in indoors all day because it's just too much. It's just too much. Everybody thinks Canada is just an ice ice cube on the top of the world, but no, it gets pretty hot there. It gets pretty hot there. Um, all right, guys, so I'm gonna jump on the train and I'll catch up with you soon. Look at how cool this mural is. Good lord guys, it's freaking hot today. I think that I'm gonna have to like find like an indoor mall or just hang out at Don Quixote all day today because I will not be able to handle this weather, this heat, I mean. You know what else? I've seen so many dogs in Japan, but I haven't seen any large dogs. I've seen, actually that's a lie, I've seen one golden retriever. Other than that, all of the dogs seem to be like little pocket dogs, which kind of makes sense. I mean, I'm in the city, right? I'm sure that if I went to the farmland, I would see farm dogs and everything like that. Oh, I'm in a beautiful area. I really appreciate you guys watching. I'll talk to you soon.
All right, so we're jumping on the subway. Oh, that shade. That shade is so wonderful. Oh my goodness. Also, what's your favorite thing to listen to when you uh, walk around and travel alone? You know, my favorite thing to listen to is nothing. I just like to have something in my ears. No, I'm just joking, guys. I'm not going to keep it plugged in while I'm filming. I don't want to be like one of those TikTok guys that just pops into his microphone like a penis. Either way, um, yeah. Who on earth would, instead of having Amazon delivered to their house, have it delivered to inside of a subway station? I guess there's a reason. I don't know the reason though. Oh, you know what I have to do? I have to refill my Passmo card. Uh, here in Japan, you can get just um, like a card for the train. I'm sure you can get that basically everywhere, but uh, it's really convenient and it's much better than trying to navigate all of the ticket machines because buying a ticket in Japan for the train is very confusing because you, uh, you don't just buy a ticket and then you can ride the train. You have to buy a ticket for the specific station that you're going to and uh, they don't tell you what station it is. They just give you a list of prices and you're expected to know what it is. So, get a Passmo card. All right, look how nice the trains are here. <sighs> the trains here are much nicer than the TTC in Toronto. Good Lord. All right, so I'm back near Super Potato. I'm gonna go in. I don't really wanna go video game hunting today. I've already gotten more than enough, but what I would like to do is I'd like to pick up some uh, plastic cases that go over the games to protect the cardboard. So I'm gonna go do that and let's go check it out. All right, so these are the cases I'm talking about, but I need one for the Nintendo 64. I hope they make them for the Nintendo 64. Here's all the N64 games, so it should be around here somewhere. I'll have to get back to you if I find them. Hopefully I do. I came like an hour away from where I'm staying just to get them. Oh no. Oh no, that's just my scar. All right, so I got some good stuff. Uh, apparently Takeshi made a second game. Uh, I got a box 1064 game and some protective cases. So we're not gonna spend too much more time in here because this place eats away at my wallet. Um, but we're gonna go and figure out that Ferris wheel. We're gonna go take a walk down Dottenbori. It's gonna be nice. <laughs> hey guys, check out some of the really expensive stuff here. I'm really glad that I picked up the Pokemon games the other day because now they're all gone. Good Lord. Very cool. Some of these games are close to $3,000. Original Tamagotchi is very cool. $880. dollars for NBA Jam on the Game Boy. Good Lord. All right, so we got some good stuff in there. I got my protective cases, which are uh, really good. It's a mandatory thing to have. Um, other than that, I'm just chilling beside this Sriracha vending machine, and I gotta get out of the sun, you guys. Um, so I'm gonna go Gatchapon hunting for a little bit. Hopefully we'll find, like, what I'm looking for this time are miniatures. So a miniature capsule, a miniature shower, a miniature, basically I wanna make, like, a diorama when I get home of a Japanese uh, capsule hotel room. I think that'd be kind of cool as a little diorama. So I'm gonna do that. 
Other than that, um, I'm probably gonna head back to the hotel uh, or to the hostel just for a little bit. Um, I want to check on that Ferris wheel, figure out how I can ride that. And then um, tonight, hopefully, uh, if I uh, gain the energy for it, I'm going to come back here and we're going to go on one of those uh, boat rides through the, uh, through the canal. If I don't do it tonight, it is going to happen on the trip for sure. Uh, so just bear with me. But uh, we got a lot of stuff going on. So. I'm gonna go catch one hunting for a little bit and uh, maybe even buy a uh, Blue Eyes White Dragon uh, Yu-Gi-Oh card. I think that'd be cool. That's my favorite card from when I was young. I don't want an original one though because they're really expensive. If I could just find a reprint of it for like a couple bucks, that would be great and I'd just throw it in my wallet. All right guys, until, uh, until then, I'll see you soon. Good Lord, it's hot out today. I'm sorry to beat a dead horse, but I don't know what I was thinking. I filled my backpack up with my heavy sweater. Ugh. Yeah. Yikes. It's hot as hell. Oh, let's see. It seems like they have some graded Pokemon cards in here. Very cool. I want to pick up a sealed pack though. Oops, sorry. When you're in Japan, you see all these singles everywhere, but it's really hard to just find a sealed pack. All right, the first Gachapon I'm getting for my miniature collection is going to be a washing machine. Hopefully I get a generic one, like this one or this one. I don't necessarily want a colored one. Did I get a generic one? Ow, my rings! Oh, I did! You ask and you shall receive. Perfect. Alright, can we find any miniatures here? There's a bus. seeing anything. No, I'm not seeing any miniature furniture in here. Okay, so it turns out that I'm currently dying of thirst. I might be the thirstiest man in all of Japan. Um, I lost my water. I don't know, I don't know where it went. Oh well. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna jump into the Lawson right now and get some water. Very exciting. All right, guys. So, heading back to the hostel area. Not necessarily going back to the hostel just yet, but um, I wanna be in the area because I am absolutely melting out here and it's making me feel sick as a dog. Okay. But before I get back to the hostel, I'm going to go buy that giant Ferris wheel and hopefully either get a ticket or figure out how I can go up in it. Look at how delicious this looks. I think they're chicken feet or duck feet, one of them. I seem to remember that there's a bathroom down that alley, so I'm gonna do that first. All right, I am back near my hostel, and there's a really nice park here, really nice. So I'm gonna take a walk around here for a little bit. I also wanna figure out what this building is. I don't know what it is, but it looks so cool. I'm gonna figure that out. Um, but most importantly, right over there, I don't know if you can see it way off in the distance, um, but there's a Ferris wheel. So I'm going to go uh, to the Ferris wheel and figure out how to get a ticket or, or what's going on with it uh, because I want to try and get over some fears and get on top of that. That's going to be the scariest one for me so far though. Going to the top of uh, Tokyo Tower, that was pretty rough, uh, but at least I was on a tower, you know what I mean? Um, this time uh, I'm guessing that the little 
carts that are in the Ferris wheel will swing when you're on them and yikes. But guys, if you wanna get over your fears or if you just wanna be a confident person in general, try facing your fears and uh, doing them head on. If it doesn't work for you, then you haven't lost anything. It's not like it's gonna like exacerbate anything uh, unless you're whatever. Guys, I'll get back to you. Talk to you soon. All right, so they've got something in this vending machine that I've never heard of before. Strawberry juice. Let's try it out. It's by Bic. Oh no, look how, look how thick it looks. Let's give it a taste try. All right guys, let's try this out. Smells really good. Ooh, that's really good, but it's a bizarre taste to have never tasted before. Yeah, it's really good. It's not like a smoothie, it's just like juice. But yeah, it's strawberry juice. Really good. Hey, listen, I just found the best uh, love hotel I think I have found so far. Uh, let me show you what it looks like. It's got Father Christmas on it. There he is. Hold on, let me flip the camera. Just Santa Claus up there. Well, if you want to stay for 12 hours, 16 hours, there you go. Those are the prices. I would love to see what the actual rooms look like though. Oh well. I'm gonna, actually, you know what? I'm gonna go in and take a look. All right guys, so I checked that out and uh, the rooms are pretty basic. They just look like, uh, they just look like, I guess, fancier hotel rooms. I haven't been able to find any like really cool themed rooms. That's the whole reason why I want to stay in a love hotel. I have no uh, partner here and a love hotel is not something uh, that you're thinking. It's not a brothel, it's just a, themed hotel. Imagine um, imagine going to Las Vegas and getting a Las Vegas themed kind of hotel. That's what it's like. It's, it's, it's not necessarily what you think. Um, but I did something bad in there. There was a gachapon machine and I was, I thought that it was a hundred uh, hundred yen. So I put a hundred yen coin in and I jammed it. Uh oh. I hope it didn't have anything important in it. Oh well. Uh, Oops. So it seems like I'm in, I guess like a red light district. I wonder what this place is like at night. Um, I might come back and check it out at night, not for anything like that, you know, just to uh, see what's going on here. Oh, but I am really close to my hotel because the Tenga shop is here. Yeah, this is right around the corner from me. Again, the Tengas, um, they're incredibly popular here. If you want to know what it is, just look it up. But I'm telling you, if you're a foreigner uh, and you're of at least average size, those things will absolutely destroy you. So don't purchase one. Yikes, it'll take like a week to recover from it. <laughs> Not that I did. I mean, you know. All right, so, um, yeah, I've got some time to do some editing now. I'm gonna edit some videos and yeah, but you know what? I'm gonna check out the arcade and if there's somebody playing in one of those um, those machines, that the rhythm machines, I'm gonna see if I can film them because uh, they, they, they're pretty incredible at what they do. So let's go in. I just hate having to deal with the copyright strikes. Is there anyone playing? Oh, it looks like there is someone playing. I'm gonna go see if I can film.
that's just amazing. If you saw my video from yesterday, you'll see that I tried to do that. Not a chance. I could do the very easy mode, um, but I couldn't do anything else. I tried to do the expert mode and I think I hit like 8% like of them or something. Something ridiculous like that. Um, okay, so, oops. I'm gonna check back into my hostel now and um, I'm gonna Google up how to, oh, there's a, more Gatchpon. More Gatchpon. Hopefully I can find some miniatures. Are there any miniatures? Um, yeah, so I'm going to edit for a little while. I'm gonna look up that uh, Ferris wheel and hopefully we'll do that tonight. Uh, but now that I know where the, actually it's probably pretty rude to film in the red light district. I might get my ass kicked. Um, actually, yeah, I'm not gonna film in the red light district. I don't wanna get my ass kicked by somebody. That's a pre pretty good chance that that could happen actually. All right, I'm gonna get going. See you guys soon. I forgot that this is a store that has a freaking elephant. Uh, I don't even know, it's, it's like a reproduction of a mammoth, I guess, but it's made of wood. Could you imagine carving this thing? Not only that, but how did they get it in here? This is on the second floor, not the first floor. All right, I feel so silly because there's a video game store like right beside my um, hostel. And I've been walking across town, uh, taking an hour long train across town uh, for nothing. But this place is pretty expensive. It looks like everything is uh, in very good condition. And when things are in very good condition in Japan, they're incredibly expensive. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try and find some stuff here. There's not really much that I'm looking for anymore though. Um, I've picked up all my games from my friends. I've picked up the games that I was looking for and I'd really kind of rather start saving my money, you know? <laughs> I have about 67 games that I got so far <laughs> and about 20 of those are for my friends. So I've already gotten like 47 games for myself. Mind you, a lot of those games were less than $2 each because um, I'm just buying uh, general releases that have been mass, mass produced. So um, I didn't really spend that much money. I think I spent a total of maybe four or $500 on myself uh, with video games, but that's okay because I've, I've saved a lot. Uh, I've worked really hard for this, so I deserve to be able to spend the money that I made myself, you know. Um, other than that, if I find anything cool in here, I will let you know. I'm still looking for a broken N64. I just need the parts for it. It would be a lot easier to mod uh, consoles when I get back home if I had some of the parts that are in that. So hopefully I'll find one in here. I doubt it very much though. Like see here, um, like are these expensive? Here, burger time. How much is burger time? Eight bucks, that's not, that's not too bad. That's not too bad. All right guys, talk to you soon. Okay. So that store is great, but you know what? There's so much stuff to look in there. Um, I don't want to ruin it for myself. So I'm going to come back a little bit later. I'm really hoping that they have some junk here. I don't think they do though, because it looks like more of a high-end store. Um, but yeah, I'm going to do some editing and I'll get back to you guys. I appreciate you uh, watching my stuff. Big time it means a lot to me. Look at this, this thing's called Vag. It's actually pretty cool. Is there any left in it? No, it's empty. Shoot! This is fun, man. I'm really happy to be here. I know that I keep saying that, but uh, freaking my dream to be here and I've got big news too I've got big news but I can't share it with you yet because uh because I don't know if it's going, well I know what's going to happen I just don't know um if everybody's going to support me in it so I'm kind of nervous about it but sorry 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 I'm missing um yeah I'm being that youtuber guys sorry um, yeah, I'm really excited to tell you about all about it, but until I can 100% tell you that it's going to happen for sure, 
I don't want to say anything yet, but expect a lot more traveling. That's all I can say. Even if I stay in Canada, expect a lot more traveling, big time. The summer's coming up. Um, I love camping, so we're definitely going camping this year. And uh, yeah, lots of fun stuff this summer. All right, guys, I'll talk to you in a bit. I'm gonna come back to uh, this restaurant tonight for their dinner menu because uh, it was so good the other day. It was so good. That's my favorite uh, thing about being down. My favorite food style is yakiniku, uh, where you just cook your own stuff. It's very, very nice. And I'm gonna definitely bring it back to my family in Canada. Have a nice big barbecue. All right, guys, talk soon. All right, so I'm back at the hostel and I just got out of the shower, shaved my head, shaved my neck. But I gotta tell you, the hostel um, shave foam that they have here is so bad. I, I ended up wiping it all off and then just having to use conditioner. Look at my neck. Like, I've been shaving for 15 years and I've never cut myself like that. Ever have I had a, such a terrible shave in my entire life. You know what though? There is a good chance. There is a good chance. Now this is so stupid but there is a chance that I shaved my face with hand sanitizer because it was a foam and I didn't know what it said on the uh, package. So there's a 50% chance that I just shaved my face with, with hand sanitizer, that sucks. Um, <clears throat> but either way, what I'm doing now is um, I'm just waiting for the sun to go down. It's around, what time is it now? Oh, my watch is on backwards, shoot. It's around six. So I'm just waiting for the sun to go down and then when it does, I am going to go back out on the town. I'm gonna to go to a uh, Yakiniku place, uh, grill some of my own food, and I'll walk around the red light district and lots of stuff. Uh, oh, and of course, the Ferris wheel. Um, I still need to look into that. So I'm gonna go do that and I'll talk to you soon. Hey guys, so you're gonna be mad at me, but I ended up taking a nap, which I thought was going to be for half an hour, and I ended up sleeping for three hours, and now it's 11 o'clock, and the Ferris wheel is closed. Not happy. I'm gonna just turn this into a two day vlog instead of a one day vlog, and I want blue balls you like that. But now that I'm awake, um, I'm gonna take a quick shower. I've been having nightmares about this internet, um, this internet infamous person. He's a wall cow. Uh, his name is uh, Cyrax, and I watched this documentary on him. I'll put a picture of him here so you can see like why I'm kind of freaked out about this guy. Um, I watched a documentary about him yesterday, and ever since then I've been having this weird nightmare where I'm trying to like infiltrate his cult, I guess. He doesn't even have a cult in real life, but in my dream he has this weird following that lives on a ranch and I've been trying to infiltrate it, and it's just really weird dream, really weird. Either way, um, I need to bathe because after having that nightmare, I'm like covered in sweat. Um, so I'm gonna bathe, and then I'm going to wake up a little bit, and then I'm gonna head over to Don Quixote and give you guys a tour of that, and uh, walk around Osaka at night. Should be pretty cool. So stick with me, all right, guys? All right, my friends, so I'm finally waking up. Uh, I had a really bad nightmare about that stupid Cyrax person. I don't know, man. Um, either way, I am... Oh, I'm so tired, you guys. Um, I'm just gonna jump in the shower because that nightmare really made me, like, pour sweat. And I fell asleep wearing my sweater and my hat, so I'm gonna throw those in the dryer. And, um, until then, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get ready. I'm gonna go out and uh, we're gonna walk around Osaka at night and uh, the Don Quixote is open 24 hours a day. So I'm gonna go there and what I'm looking for is the first time I ever went into there, they had um, these little dioramas that you could build like a little pop-up shop or a little uh, sushi shop, kind of thing like that. So I'm gonna pick that up. And I think that'll be the last thing that I pick up for uh, souvenirs because I'm basically all done. Guys, I'll talk to you soon, all right? Bye.
Hey guys, check out how cool this is. This is a picture of the Capsule Hotel in 1979. And that's this room here. You can tell by the uh, skylight. And as you can see, there's a little TV at the end. There's a little TV at the end. But now, there's an entire new section. That's really cool though. 1979. This place has a lot of history. Very cool. These are the same things from 1979. Wow. Okay, my friend, so I'm just gonna hop in the shower and let me show you because I have tattoos I'm not allowed to go into the sauna. So I have to go into a private room And have a shower in here, but it has a waterfall shower. So that's okay um, Other than that, I'm gonna wake up a little bit more. I'm feeling good um, I'm gonna have a quick bite to eat and then I'm gonna jump outside, walk around. It should be pretty interesting. It's not too, too late. Um, but yeah, it should be nice. Walking around the sock in the middle of the night. Very cool. Talk to you soon. All right, guys. So I'm getting ready to head out. Uh, something just unpleasant happened to me. Very nice. I was walking through the hallway and a Japanese man burped right in my face. And it was a big beer burp too. That was pretty rude. I don't know what I did to deserve that. Um, either way, I'm uh, gonna go for a walk in uh, Osaka at night. It's gonna be cool. I hope there's lots of neon. And uh, we're gonna go to Don Quixote and uh, I'm gonna find some food because I'm super hungry. Unfortunately, there's not a microwave here though, so I can't, uh, I can't pick something up and cook it here, but maybe I'll find a sandwich or something. Uh, yeah, let's get going. It's uh, two in the morning here, so it's already pretty late. But I wanna make the most of my time here. Uh, I'm just gonna have a quick smoke, and then uh, I'm gonna get going. All right, guys, I'm just about to head out, but um, I'm very, very confused because it looks like it's daytime outside, which makes no sense, right? Did I sleep in another 16 hours? I don't know, check it out. That looks like daytime, right? Or is, am I just crazy? I don't understand. I thought it was two in the morning, but there's like businessmen walking around. I'm very confused. Yeah, I, I don't, I don't get it, but let's go out anyway. Okay, so it turns out that it is night. I just forgot that I'm staying in like a completely lit up indoor street, you know? So that really screwed with my brain for a moment there. I was so confused. I thought I might have, uh, I thought I might have slept in for another 16 hours like I did last time. Either way, uh, we're gonna have a good time and uh, we're gonna go walking around. Hopefully there's lots of neon. Already I can see that there's lots of neon. Um, yeah, you know what I'm really craving since I've been here? Actually, not since I've been here, but now, is um, I'm dying for just a sandwich. Like, just a regular ham and cheese and mayonnaise sandwich. Um, I haven't had a single sandwich since I've been here. I've only been eating rice and uh, beef since I've been here. I haven't even really had any chicken since I've been here. Um, but yeah, so hopefully I'll swing by like 7-Eleven or something, grab a sandwich, not a fruit sandwich or anything. Also, one thing that drives me nuts about the sandwiches here is everything seems to have an egg on it. You want a BLT sandwich? No problem, but it has an egg on it. You want a, a tuna melt? No problem, egg on it. They put egg on everything here, man. Um, and the use of raw eggs down here is so different, you know? I can't imagine just throwing a raw egg on a bowl of rice and mixing it in and eating it. Like, yikes. But whatever, that's their culture. I'm sure that they would look at a lot of things from here as very strange. Um, one thing that I've, I've noticed though, 
is the Japanese love uh, like American stuff. American influence is huge here. And I don't really understand why, because America dropped bombs on, on, on Japan. Like the only atomic bombs ever used in war um, were from the Americans dropped on Nagasaki and Hiroshima. So I don't understand why the Japanese would have an obsession with America after they bombed them. I don't know. Uh, it's a strange thing. If anybody uh, out there who knows anything about this can let me know, that would be great because it's something that I've been wondering ever since I've been here. All right, so we're, uh, oh wow. Look how cool this is. I'm so freaking lucky to be here, you guys. I'm so lucky and I can't beat a dead horse enough and say, I couldn't have done this if I wasn't sober, you guys. And you know how many cravings I've had for alcohol since I've been here? Zero. I truly thought that, um, that this would be very hard for me because I figured, you know what, I'm away from all my loved ones. Uh, whatever I do here, nobody uh, needs to find out about. Uh, whatever I do here, I can keep secret. And that just hasn't been my mindset at all because I'm proud of what I do here and I'm proud of um, my accomplishments and I'm proud of being able to tell people, hey guys, I didn't do anything stupid down here, you know? Um, it's a really wonderful feeling because the entire time that I was in rehab, um, I was saying to myself, okay, quit until you get to Japan, and then once you get to Japan, try and have a beer and see if you can handle it kind of thing. And I talked to my doctors about it too, and I said, listen guys, I'm having these terrible thoughts that I'm just going to stay sober until I get to Japan and then I'm just going to end up like relapsing or something. And that's just not the case. And that's really, really a wonderful, wonderful thing to be able to uh, to be confident in yourself like that. And you, I, I feel like I'll never, I'll never be fully recovered. Right? It, it's not something that is going to happen because once you're an alcoholic, you're an alcoholic. You're always an alcoholic. Um, you can get better from it and you can live in recovery from it and never drink again and live a really happy life. But you have to remember that you are still an alcoholic and you could have a single drink and it could derail 10, 15, 20 years of progress. So, um, but this is the first time where I really feel like, yeah, guys, I'm recovered. I don't need to keep beating a dead horse. Uh, I know that my channel really is about showing people that you can recover from uh, addiction, and that's great. And I'm just, I'm just really happy about it. Other than that, um, I think I went the wrong way. But you know what? It doesn't matter because I've wanted to get lost in uh, Japan at nighttime for a long time, and this is okay. So uh, I found 7-Eleven behind me. Where is it? Somewhere back there, right on the street corner back there. So I know that I'll be able to get a sandwich. And yeah, I'll talk to you guys soon once I get to Don Quixote. But look at this area. Very cool. Um, yeah, I'm a happy guy. I'm a really happy guy. And I have some big news to tell you guys once I get home. And I'm, I'm just so excited about it. I have like four legitimate business ideas that I'm going to um, pursue, you know? Uh, probably not all four of them. I'm gonna talk with my aunt who is very smart. She's a professor. Um, so I'm going to talk to her and see what the best of the four would be. Um, but I am going to plan on um, studying photography. I'm going to plan on studying graphic design and uh, videography. I want to do those three things because I want to be able to set myself up for the future. You know, I have a really expensive camera, not to brag or anything. It's something that I worked really hard for. Um, but the problem is, I don't really know how to use it. I know how to use the auto mode. I know how to do all of that kind of stuff, but it's almost like, um, it's almost like buying a, 
a manual transition car without knowing how to drive manual. It's like, yeah, you have this car, but you can't really use it to its full potential. So I want to be able to use the equipment that I have in a much more, uh, I don't want to say profitable, but I want to be able to make something of myself. The guy that I met down here, uh, Glenn, great guy, shout out to you, thank you so much for the photo shoot. Um, he lives here and he sells his photos and he makes like a good amount of money from it. So I want to be able to do that. I want to be able to take the tools that I have and apply them. Either way, sorry for the super long uh, cut, I mean the super long video without a cut, but I've just got a lot on my mind, you know? And I'm lost, but that's okay. I really don't mind getting lost here. All right, once I get onto the street, once I uh, uh, get to Don Quixote, I will let you know. I think I might pick up a zebra tarantula for my dad, you know? Hey dad, look what I got for you in Japan. Oh, what is it, son? Is it a mug? No, it's a fucking tarantula that you're supposed to eat, by the way. <laughs> Either way, I'll talk to you guys soon. Look what I found. I found a little rat. Where'd it go? This guy is not happy about something. There's a rat. Oh, there's a bunch of rats out here. They're all living under here. That's strange. I've never really seen rats in public before ever. There's one. Oh my goodness, there's another one. Oh, there's a whole bunch of them. Look at them all. Guys, I totally have to remember, crab is incredibly famous here and I have to eat crab while I'm here. I love crab, love it. Yeah, I really enjoy crab. Uh, you know what I've never understood though? Um, I'm terrified of spiders and spiders are like the size of like a toonie to like maybe a small hamburger bun. Um, but I'm not scared of crabs, even though crabs are like the armored spiders of the ocean with fucking the most terrifying mouths ever. If you guys have never seen what a crab's mouth looks like, look it up and prepare to have nightmares because it's sideways and it's terrifying. Also, it has pincers and can hurt you. But no, crabs don't bother me whatsoever. Spiders, fuck that. Oh, and millipedes and centipedes. I really don't care about bugs that much because um, I've done a shitload of camping and I'm very aware of bugs. Um, I even got bit right on the tip by a fucking tick once when I was camping. That was awful. Um, but I don't like spiders. I don't like... Uh, millipedes and I don't like centipedes. Other than that, I really don't mind bugs. Oh, June bugs, anything that goes Oh, and cicadas. And cockroaches. And crane mantises. Okay, actually, yeah, I'm pretty scared of bugs. Never mind. <laughs> People keep handing me things for either maid cafes or for karaoke bars. And I'm thinking to myself, guys, I'm walking around alone. Like, do people in Japan, I know karaoke is huge in Japan, this is where it originated from, um, but do people go to karaoke alone in Japan? Because you gotta remember, um, in Japan, you don't necessarily perform karaoke at a bar like you do in Canada or, you don't, you, or other places. You don't really perform it in front of people. Here in Japan, you usually rent like a private room and sit with your friends and sing karaoke, which is a much less embarrassing way to do karaoke. Um, 
But yeah, do they expect me to just rent a room as a single man and sing alone? I don't get it. I guess they're just doing their job. I just hurt my knee so fucking bad. I just, I just stepped off of a, a curb that I didn't know was there. And, uh, oh my God. Excuse my language, guys. Oh my God, that hurt. Now I'm really worried that my knee is gonna swell up. I've already broken a toe on this trip. I didn't mention it because breaking your toe is such a non-issue um, because I only broke one of them. But good Lord, I keep injuring myself. Good thing I have really good insurance. Good, yeah, that's a good thing. Um, okay, I'm in a 7-Eleven now. I don't know how I got in here, why I'm here, but I hope that I can find a good sandwich. Let's check it out. Um, See? Boiled egg on everything. Egg and tomato potato salad. Tuna salad, ham, lettuce, egg and salt. Everything has egg on it. Pork, ham and cucumber, that's revolting. Oh, pork, ham, cheese, lettuce, sauce. Oh, perfect. I'm gonna get those. All right, finally I have found it. And this is such a cool area that I'm in. I never realized how much I like this city until I came here. Um, oh, there's an ice cream machine here. And it has a very special ice cream. It looks like Dr. Zeus's cock. Let me show you. There you go. Actually, this looks really good. And it is for refresh. And I could use a refresh. So I'm gonna try this. So I wasn't really paying attention because I was so enthralled with Dr. Zeus's dick over here. But right beside this vending machine is a edible bug vending machine. You can just buy straight up bugs and crickets and stuff in here. Ch Ew, cicadas. That is so revolting, you guys. Okay, this is a big lie. This says for refresh, but I just purchased it. And I'm all excited to eat some uh, frozen ice. And it's absolutely frozen solid. So I guess I'll just have to hold on to it for like an hour. I don't know. All right, so right in front of the Don Quixote is a big aquarium, and this one doesn't have too much in it. It's got a few fish in it, but this one over here seems to be much bigger. Yeah, look at this fish. Wow, that's huge. Look at this blue one. Oh my God. Look at the teeth on this. Oh, cool. Holy shit, you guys. Is that what I think it is? Oh my God, that scared the hell out of me. Look at that. Look at how big it is. Good Lord. Does that remind anybody of Super Mario 64? This is why one of my biggest fears is the ocean. One of my biggest fears is, oh my God, there's another one. Look at that, that's... Are you kidding me? No, that can't be a fish. That has to be, oh my God, it is. Look at how long this thing is. I don't know if, if you can see it properly, but okay. So you can't really see the head that well, but there, the head is there. And this whole tube thing that looks like a giant snake, that is, an, uh, I guess an eel? What the hell is this thing doing? That 
is a scary fish. Oh yeah, Dad, I love going in the ocean, no problem. Oh, the ocean is completely fine with me. Fish won't, fish won't mess with me. It's not like I'll be scuba diving and this thing will come right up to my face. All right, so I thought I would take the opportunity to work on my fears a bit, and I came up to a rooftop. Not all the way to the roof, because good lord, I'm not going up there. But I am six stories up, so that's pretty cool. Uh, also, right behind me is that Ferris wheel, so I know it's not too far from the house. Sorry for not going on it um, in this video. Um, but I, I ended up falling asleep and, and just crashing hard. I am putting in a lot of work while I'm here. And you, you know, you never realize how uh, much effort it takes to constantly vlog for an entire month. Uh, it takes a lot of effort because not only um, am I filming all day, but I'm editing all night and uh, I just really haven't had that much sleep and I just crashed hard. And I keep having this freaking nightmare where I end up hanging out with this weird internet lol cow and he like indoctrinates me into a cult and it's just bizarre, man. Um, yeah, that's about it. Okay, so if I'm on the rooftop, I want to see if I can get a good shot of the city. But, obviously, because, I guess, safety, um, there's a big fence here. So, luckily, I have a selfie stick, so I'm going to stick this thing up and over, and let's see what the city looks like. Ooh, almost tripped there. Ooh, almost tripped again. Good lord. Alright, let's see what the city looks like. Pretty amazing, eh? Oh! Three times I almost tripped. Three times. For some reason, there's an entire, like, um, bicycle parking section on the top of this roof. Why? Like, who is on the street and is like, you know where would be a, a, a great place to park my bike right now? Um, four, four or five stories up. I'm, I don't get it. I don't even know how I found this place. I just found a random elevator and went to the top. <laughs> Alright, uh, I still am trying to find the entrance to Don Quixote. It says that it's open 24 hours, but the front entrance seems to be uh, closed. So, I don't know what's going on. Either way, I'll try and find it. Oh no, that's a shame. Online it said that this place was open 24-7. Oh, that's a shame. Oh well, I'll come back tomorrow. Oh, here you can get a better look at that monster's face. There we go. Look at this thing, it's huge. It must be 14, it must be 12 or 14 feet long. It's huge. This thing is just as terrifying. Yeah, yeah, I'm taking a video of you. What are you gonna do about it, fish? You're behind glass. How terrifying that mouth is, though. Hey, okay, so I'm gonna wrap it up for the night. Today has been a very long day for me. Uh, I gotta get some sleep, you know? Um, tomorrow, definitely, definitely, 100% going on that Ferris wheel. I hate to blue balls you guys all the time, but it is going to happen, guaranteed. I promise you, I swear to God, it's gonna happen. Um, also, that's about it. I'm really enjoying my night here. I'm gonna stop into the 7-Eleven uh, here and grab a couple sandwiches. And, you know, that's about it. Go back to my hotel, eat, 
and chill out. It's a shame that Don Quixote wasn't open. I was really looking forward to, uh, to checking that out, but oh well, I'll come back tomorrow. All right, until then, guys, have a wonderful evening and bye.